All right, what is up, everybody? Let's do a quick wear review of one of the hottest mesh runner models out there, and really uh, Nike's uh, only one in the race, uh, I think, as far as the, the, the mesh mesh runners are concerned. Uh, it is the Nike Zoom Vomero 5. I got them right here. I got the supersonic versions. This is kind of like the most popular um, GR colorway, I would say. I mean... Yeah, I wouldn't say, just the prices on StockX would say. I was lucky enough to cop them, I think, off sneakers. I got them, the sneakers app, when they dropped. And then I got, like, the one big collab pair. That's right. I only come with the heat with these. The uh, Dornbecker Freestyle uh, Zoom Vomeros. And, and, yeah. Anyways, I'll cut to the chase. I love these. I love these. And I have a, a, you know, a good handful of, of cons, too downsides to these so st please stick around for the full video you'll get to where um uh the downsides on these are but i've put some miles in these and think i can kind of fairly um judge them give them a wear review for you if you're interested in copying um they're not too too expensive they're affordable uh the grs the the grs are um so yeah so please stick around give me a, a subscribe it's free it's the only free subscription on the internet and I really appreciate it. But yeah, okay, so uh, what do I like about these? Uh, first of all, Nike is lucky because it is Mesh Boy Summer, Mesh Girl Summer, Mesh Whoever Summer, and uh, the other brands are killing it. New Balance, Asics are kind of the top dogs in that category, but also On and uh, Hoka, uh, Saucony. Man, like everyone's got, like to me actually, you know, some of the Adidas trainers have always been like some of my favorites they're not really maybe um in the conversation as much in, in 2024 but they've always had some of the best runners for me that personally that i've liked they're different xt models etc um but nike's one uh that they have that is popular is this one and for for good reason i love it and you know who also loves it lebron james and Bronny, I, I've heard them uh, say that this is kind of their go-to wear around sneaker. And you know why? It's because it's light, it's airy. See all the mesh around? It's, it's super lightweight. It's not a very heavy sole. Um, there's downsides to this too, we'll get into them, but it is super lightweight. It's comfortable to slip on. Let's see here, I got size 11 and a half. Uh, fit, that's my size, fits perfectly. Very lightweight. Um, because the upper isn't uh, a ton of leather, it, it's very nice around your foot, a lot of airflow, and because the outsole isn't made of a ton of plastic or, or hard rubber, it's very lightweight. Uh, those are the main things. Uh, also aesthetically, just a great kind of aerodynamic look with these like, you know, this, this piping that goes along the foot, it just really looks great on foot. And then you got the signature swoosh there um really like brings it all together because without the swoosh it's a great 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 you know sneaker and then with the, swo the added swoosh is just that added nike branding that just really like uh, makes it stand out from you know your asics and your new balance and your others is this this gets the swoosh whereas those don't um specifically this model i did an uh, unboxing so check that out but this the this gray dark gray upper that's 3m reflective uh that's cool the the mid panel here glows in the dark uh, blue so that's dope uh there's some reflective hits on the back heel uh and across the tongue there and yeah i've worn these only once i wore them to my nephew's uh birthday party that was minecraft themed so i had to stunt on uh you know both the parents and the kids there pull these out jaron the kid who designed these likes minecraft and so um a lot of this is kind of minecraft inspired i have the patches on currently that's how i kind of deck these out might take them off to you know uh age them up a tad and they're already pretty bright and loud uh playful but maybe we might take the patches off to just uh you know, simplify them a little bit. But anyways, back to these. Uh, yeah, these are super popular. This is definitely my favorite colorway. And I think, are they re-releasing these potentially? I don't know. Um, they got some nice heel support here that's not enclosed. And, and what else? What else? Oh yeah, the bottom sole parts of it glow on this particular model. Um, but yeah, overall, the, the, big, the big things that I love about it Slipping them easily, 
lightweight, airy, perfect summer shoe, and um, they look great. So those, those, those are the th big, big, big things in um, the pluses for these uh, Vomeros. Now quick, kind of down to the downsides. Uh, also quick, before we get into them, plug for the Instagram, follow me on Instagram, uh, comment below if you like these and any other wear reviews you want me to do, yada, yada, yada. Okay, on to the cons. One thing is because the outer isn't like a lot of heavy rubber or plastic, uh, it is a lot of this foam material, whatever BPS 1000 is, BRS 1000 is, like Lunar Lawn Foam Duralon. Yeah, it's Duralon. It's, you know, Dura probably infers durable, but like it definitely wears through a little quickly. It definitely wears through a little quickly in these foam parts. The traction does. And uh, yeah, not super grippy. This is perfect for dry cement walking. As soon as you get a little bit of rain or slick, it, it, these become slick. So I do not recommend these um, necessarily in wet weather. Also they're mesh. Your feet are gonna get wet and uh, these are gonna slip and slide. So be very careful. Great for dry cement. Other than that, yeah. Uh, another con, not a ton of arch support. Uh, if you got flat, I don't mind so much because I have flat feet, uh, but if you have high archers, you're probably going to want to swap out the insoles. Another thing with the insoles, these insoles are pretty slick. So if you go too big, your foot's going to kind of be sliding around depending on what socks you're wearing and fit. Like your, do, your foot does kind of slide, I feel like, in these a little bit um, as you're walking. So either maybe... Definitely try these on if you get the chance. Maybe go a little more snug. Maybe wear some grippier socks or thicker socks. I don't know, swap, swap out the insoles if it bugs you, but your foot does kind of slip and slide on this insole a little bit. Um, again, it's kind of nice for short walks and comfort, but if you're doing putting serious miles in these, uh, that can be might, might be a little bit annoying. Um, other thing, these grooves. I always get pebbles kind of stuck in these grooves. That's kind of annoying. Um, I don't, I'm not sure which grooves that like here and I don't know. I just always feel like pebbles are getting stuck in this groove right here. Um, also, yeah, because these aren't made, because these are not made of a ton of leather and they're airy and mesh, that's great for uh, feel and temperature of your feet, but they do wear down a little bit quicker. I think like if I keep wearing these as much as they are, they are gonna get beat up, you know, and look beat up and just like, look at the outsoles, you know, like you're gonna run through these, uh, you know, more quickly. Uh, you know, if I put heavy use in these, like I'll have to, you know, you know, these will be demoted to the trash giveaway, Goodwill, or just, you know, thrown to the back of the closet and worn to their absolutely dust. Whereas like if you buy a pair of two, you know, of New Balances, 990 series, um, you know, those are gonna last you a ton of ye more years. The outsole's a little more durable. They'll last you the leather on them. They're gonna last you. They're also about almost double the price. So it is what it is. Uh, you'll get more wear, but you'll pay more. So these definitely kinda kind of run through them more. Uh, another con is these are not like performance shoes. These are definitely like, you know, your casual workout shoes. I think most of you know that. I think anyone who is doing macros, who's, you know, timing lap minutes and all that would probably know these are not performance running shoes, performance exercise shoes. These are your more casual uh, lifestyle shoes. But in case you were curious, um, these are fine to like go in the gym with, do a few miles on the treadmill, do a few miles in your neighborhood block, you know, throw up um, some weights on the machine, maybe not the greatest, uh, if you're at leg day, maybe these are a little too cushiony maybe for leg day. Don't do these for like serious weightlifting on the legs. But you know, these, these are perfect for running errands, getting coffee, putting a few miles in the city. Um, but you know, you're not gonna wanna, you're not, no serious running in these. No serious cross training in these. I wouldn't go like hiking and dirt in these. Your socks are gonna get dirty through the mesh. Um, these aren't great trail shoes. These are not performance shoes. These are not for playing on the tennis court. They're not for basketball. These are like, these are lifestyle shoes for the most part. You can do some exercising in them uh, and you can do some walking miles in them. I, for me, anything after like four miles, my foot tends to get sore up here. They're, they're like super comfy and squishy initially, 
but I feel like after mile four, I wish I was wearing something sturdier maybe, maybe that fit better, maybe something even with more cushion, I don't know. After four miles straight of walking in these, these I, I tend to start wishing I had different shoes, but I'm also like, um, I'm also, you know, older. Uh, so yeah, anyways, here they are, here are me walking around uh, in my Dornbeckers, like they look great on feet. They look great off to the side. I, I you know, um, I don't know. Uh, these are nine out of 10. I mean, colorways aside, just, just the model and silhouette. I, I, nine out of 10, this is my favorite Nike runner. Um, favorite Nike casual trainer. Uh, compares, you know, I really like the 990 V3, the 990 V6. I like a lot of the ASICs models um, and these hold up with them because they're just so lightweight and they look great. Those are, those are the main things and they feel great on feet. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Vomero popularity. What are some of your other favorite mesh runners from other brands or Nike? Um, but yeah, like comfortability, high marks, uh, wearability, high marks, just kind of durability, I would say is low marks and that they're not performance shoes. Those, those are really kind of only the low marks for it. So, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you watching. Uh, let me know what else if you, if you like these wear reviews. I appreciate it. Thanks.